Akistan has push pushes Gondwar. And that all seems fine. I, I don't really know if it affects us overall too, too much. But I mean, our influence in Europe is just absolutely ludicrous at the moment. Okay, but let's upgrade our space flight as much as we possibly can. Um, it's 1956. Already researched you. Let's go with you. If I remember correctly, to get space flight, we need a couple more technologies. Yeah, SSD image transition, common bulk out balloon tanks. $4.42 trillion. We're going to be in a lot of debt, okay? I, I think everyone should acknowledge that there's going to be a lot of debt coming our way. I think we're then going to be at, what, like $1.3 trillion? Or $13 trillion in debt. We do get 150 political power out of you. Let's increment a Molotov. I like how you actually lose one uh, political power, which I think is kind of funny. What if we demilitarize Germany? I mean, we outnumber the Americans there, so I don't know if it's actually even necessary, at least at the moment. You know, let's, uh... 71% influence there now. And we're at 50%. Yeah, I mean, we, we could... Economic aid. Military subsidies are pretty cheap. And we can definitely fund them without too much problem. We're 14 trillion with our... We're so broke, man. We are so, so poor. But that's okay. It's okay to be a little bit poor. And Bulgaria, what's your plan? I'm still worried about you trying to abandon us. Which wouldn't be good, because I'm a very powerful country. Very powerful indeed. 84% with you. But I don't think I can invest in Yugoslavia, at least not right now. Alright, goals. I don't think I need to kind of worry about this stuff right now. We need to put like a power for this to fire. That all costs us money. Okay, let's let's halt the current five-year plan. Maybe, maybe that's what we need. Imagine puppeting France. Oh, it's going to be a reality, my friends. Okay. Former Communist Party chairman Nicolas has regained control of the party. Here's the reformist attempt to shift away from Moscow. Backfired. This is in... Okay, that's in Greece. Well, that works out fine for me. Greece, if you want to be my friend, I, I do appreciate it. Okay, Romania is having a little bit of resistance against us. But, you know, that's okay. That, I think, is completely, completely okay. Our GDP has now somehow... It's double that of the United States. We're by far the richest country on Earth. While at the same time being incredibly, incredibly in debt. We're 14 trillion in debt. No one else is even close to that. But our GDP is incredible. 2.05 trillion? No template for what? No put artillery? Eh, don't worry about that. We could deploy some units. Ah, but it's like, do I need to deploy some units? I, I honestly don't think we do. We can ignore you. Ignore the stuff about manpower. I don't think it's actually that big of a deal. Investment by 100 billion dollars, 90 billion per million dollar per million population. I mean, what is our population right now? 188 million. I mean, it's definitely it's, it's a decent amount for sure. Okay, influence Yugoslavia a little bit more. We're now 86 percent there for political power. Destruction speed goes down, which is, like, not, like, lovely, but, you know, what we'll do it. We'll abandon ferrotic projects. And 
There's a little bit more influence in Yugoslavia. 80, still 86%. Influence Uganda? Is it worth influencing Uganda? In Uganda right now, it's 52%. Like, it'd be a while before anyone down here could be uh, influenced by us, unfortunately. And I don't even know how France is doing. So, 71% influence. Apparently, they have 100 infamy. I don't know if France did get that much infamy. Nobody's influencing you. They have one... Look how much money Yugoslavia has in their bank account right now. Mutual defense agreement. That's what a political power. It was 25. I mean, that seems pretty good. Maybe I should have been doing that this whole time. <laughs> Other than what I've been actually doing. More political power. I do like more political power. Because I kind of need that to uh, get the influence I need. The Toronto Trials, dismantling the former monarchy, continues in Toronto, a former general is the top advisor of the Shah, because they try to convince their charges. Yeah, the freaking Shah, man. I mean, he shouldn't have done all those things that he did. Here we had another Olympics going on in Australia. Again, we're number one. It's just, just winning in a landslide. Do have some more spies? Any spies we can really use in the United States? Not really, but let's send them to America anyways. They can have fun over there. Got 10 more days on you. Financial pulse. We don't really, we don't care about that so much. I just want to go to the moon. Okay, more space race tech. Is it cryogenic rockery or RD-0140? Which of those did we actually need to go to space? Cryogenic rocket. Okay, we can we can get that done. We can get that done. It's gonna take 250 days. So in less in about a year from now, we'll have a man in space. Again, I don't think the Americans are even attempting to fight us on this, which I am completely a-okay with. And I've also noted again, like no one else has actually become a nuclear power quite quite yet. Maybe at some point they will, but who knows. By the way, how many rifles do I have? 123,000. Let's actually cut you down a little bit like this. And we're just going to crank out uh, rocket production as well. An upper limit on military spending. Manpower goes down, construction speed goes up. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems fine. I mean, I'm not really... I was going to say, I haven't really, you know, worried about going to war, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the only country that's actually gone to war so far. That's okay. What's a little war between friends? And again, I can't really influence too much more uh, in these areas quite, quite yet. Military can the target gives military and they have access to each other. The Flight of the Free Princes. Uh, okay, Saudi Arabia, closely allied to the Wahhabi Ulama, since the kingdom has been ruled by the royal family. I mean, do we have any influence in Saudi Arabia? Basically, no. Even though they do have a five-year plan. Not, it's not good enough for us to get influence there, unfortunately. Okay, let's see what... We'll see where we have to... Um, do want our political power. Our stability is actually... It's very bad. I didn't realize it was actually that poor right now. Weekly change. It's actually going down. Soaring criminality, Soviet agricultural status, state media. I think maybe I could um, get even more welfare spending. I mean, we could afford it if I wanted to. Free repair, fuel storage goes up.
At three in political power, we don't really have that. Suez Canal has been seized by the Egyptians. We'll see if uh, Israel, France, and the British go to war over them or not. And you are productive. Efficiency cap goes up. Yeah, let's stabilize the, ag the agricultural sector, because apparently that's what... Uh, it's affecting our stability by 20%, which actually is really hampering our uh, political power influence at the moment. We also had a ship designer, but like, what's that going to do for us? I think basically nothing. Doriel requests Soviet intervention. The situation in Budapest quickly spread under control. The Hungarian Communist Party, first secretary, and Rogeri called for Soviet forces in the country to intervene. I mean, if you want me to intervene, I will intervene. Uh, you, you know how much I love to intervene. The Hungarian Revolution. The stunning turn of events, the Hungarian Prime Minister handed power to Imre Nege. Popular communist leader had recently been removed from his position as chairman of the Council of Ministers due to his call for reforms and opposing the Soviet influence. Or interference. In his address, the country urged common promise that he would initiate political reforms necessary for the country. So they are now revolutionary socialist. The situation in Hungary continues to deteriorate. Intelligence and military sources uh, liken the situation to anarchy. The government of Imran Nagy claims to have calmed the situation and restored order. I already have heard from communist allies in Hungary that Nagy is weak and at the mercy of counter-revolutionary forces. However, we have reports indicating a military intervention such as uh, such may provoke protests not just in the West but also among fellow socialist states. In addition, we have other resources reports knowing that Nagy is appointed. Uh, he has reduced violence and may be stabilizing force needed. Dissolution announcement. So they're going to get a lot of events in a second. I mean, there's still a satellite of ours. Of economics. I don't know if we can do anything here. National aid. Again, that's all just for Vietnam. Nothing's in our foreign policy tree yet, though, still. We also don't need a tutorial up. Or at least I don't think we do. Modify government again. I'm not going to modify government. You were drawn for the Warsaw Pact. Okay, see, now that, uh... Now that's leading to a problem, huh? Radio address in the country. Prime Minister Nagy has announced his intention to withdraw from the Warsaw Pact and engage in foreign policy and neutrality. Many, for many Hungarians, membership in the Warsaw Pact symbolized the continued control over the country by the Soviets. By drawing Nagy is seeking to restore an independent foreign policy for Hungary, the answer is also a direct threat to the Soviet Union and its post-World War II order in Eastern Europe. Minister Nagy is hoping that Soviets will respect the will of the Hungarian people and not risk alienating its other allies by taking a harsh stance against the country. Okay. Here's the thing, Hungary. Have you not seen how I've dealt with everyone else who's tried to oppose me so far? Did you not see what happened with, uh... Now our forces are being, uh, pushed out of here. Had our calls to end counter-revolutionary acts excess. This announcement from Prime Minister Nagy has shaken Hungarian communist to core. I do now believe Nagy is not just capitulating to the opposition, but openly receiving the collapse of the socialist order in Hungary. Uh, Hanos Kader, a senior Communist Party leader, uh, minister of Soviet leadership in Moscow, informed that Hungary was not undergoing a socialist adjustment, but was falling to counter-revolutionary forces. The realization campaign of Nagy has gone far beyond what other socialist society would have allowed. The communists of Hungary desperately need the Soviet Union to protect them. You also know that extrajudicial killings of communist members during the early parts of the recent unrest as an example of what will happen and the guy is not stopped now. Well, in the game, like... No, oh, we we, we're just going to launch the invasion. I'm getting a tragedy. And to think, I gave them all that land. So apparently, actually, don't even send troops in there. It just has uh, automatically succeeded. You love to see it. And it did say something got completed automatically. Um, I'm actually not too sure where that actually is. Yeah, no, I, I actually don't know where that's located. But Kadar is now in charge here. The possible least Transylvania. Actually, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think they have any cores. So it would just be releasing um, Romania, unfortunately. 
Please allow me to scroll up towards here. Stabilize the agricultural sector a little bit. It now is only negative 18%, no longer negative 28. I, I think those are better numbers for us for sure. Modify our government. It's just not really necessary, huh? Research speed, 10% stability. We could go pluralist. Real defense, or drift defense. You know what? Let's go pluralist. Why did I do that? It, it now has drained all my political power. But we get 10% more stability, which should allow me to get political power at least a little bit fa faster. So I guess in the long run, it's it's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. Right, Kim Il Sung's been removed from power. The Stalinization is sweeping the communist world. Those communist leaders still committed to Stalinism, especially the cult of personality and consolidation of leadership by the individual. Pro-Soviet and pro-Chinese communist leaders under Chao Cheng Il agreed to confront Kim Il Sung in their next major party meeting. So. Korea is no longer led by Kim Il-sung. It's led by Cho Cheng Ilk. Don't really know who that is, but you know, he's now in charge of uh, Korea at the moment. And France. Still 71% influence there. 68 with you. 87 with uh, Yugoslavia. I, I do want more political power. Maria Shadow is still uh, a negative 20% of like, modifiers. Is, like not great. Okay, government Pakistan confirmed a contract control administration over Balajistan. Uh, okay. Japanese peace treaty offer. That can occur called rightful Soviet lands, or we can give them territory. But, of course I'm not. Uh, the rightful Soviet territory, so the peace treaty is immediately ended. Here's the thing, Japan. You lose the Second World War. You don't get to dictate who controls what. That's not, that's not how this works. Influence Yugoslavia. Yeah, we put a little bit more points into them. But now 88. We're, we're close, we're close, but not quite there yet. And I think Colombia is no longer... Yeah, they're no longer communists, unfortunately. But maybe at some point in the future. We want to put like a power so we can actually finish this one here. Okay, the Social Democratic Party is one in Sweden. Not super crazy. Okay, we can reduce it, um, our pace here. I think our GDP has actually decreased a little. Look at that spike of it. Look at that spike of GDP. That's what we love to see in our GDP, huh? I'm pretty sure that's from annexing parts of Romania. But you know what still works out? Military expenditures, it's a little bit more than the United States. But again, when you're as rich as us, we, you can, we can do whatever the hell we want. Cannot target an ally. Okay, fair enough. Then somebody into Yugoslavia. We got a negative 27% here. 88 on you. And aside from that, is anybody really um, affecting things too much around here? I don't really think so. Like, does, does Korea get like a new focus tree now that Kim Il Sung's not in uh, charge? I believe so, yeah. So very, very interesting what's going on over in uh, Korea. Fragments of larger farms will improve Soviet agriculture again. We're now just at a negative 8%, which is significantly better than, it, again, the negative 28 we were at before. Anything else happening in the wider world? I think Thailand's actually lost tr territory to these guys. Even Burma actually wants some of this land as well. We'll kind of see what they end up doing in the in the future. Sure. It'll be done in 10 days. We're getting 1.15. I, I want to get more political power. You're not going to give me any. You give me any political power? No. 
any of this stuff give me political power? No, China gets political power, but how does that help me out at all? It, I don't think it does. I mean, some in industry is not horrible. Okay, so someone has been sent to exile in Greece. I'm guessing maybe because of our European Union, we were actually, maybe that's why we have so much more money. GDP. I mean, here's, I, yeah, the European Union has really helped out. I mean, Britain has a higher GDP than the United States. France is almost equal with the United States. Germany, okay, Germany kind of sucks. But I mean, the United Kingdom's now richer than the US. So, I mean, overall, you know, I, I think our EU has worked out very, very, very well. We don't really worry about any of you. We could decrease our stuff there, but I don't think it's really necessary. Yeah, and it looks like none of this stuff, unfortunately, you would actually maintain factory discipline. Where is that? Oh, you. Okay, we actually finished this. Then we can actually go immediately into doing um, the seven year plan. But just because it's 200 political power, it allows me to actually get some more researches. Stabilize agriculture, reduce export allocation. More political power than 100. What else do we get? I'm guessing a lot of these are going to give us political power. Stabilize agricultural. Gandhi's assassin has been uh, executed. $300 billion. I'm sure some of this stuff would be nice, but you know, that 200 political power is is, is looking uh, pretty juicy. For goods. A new minute is in Laos, so the Laos People Party, later called the Path in Laos, a Marxist Leninist guerrilla movement, and created by Prince. I, I can't pronounce it. 